Zelensky to sack all military commissars because of cynicism and graft. Here's a summary of the article. Who are military commissars and what is the role of military commissariats? The key responsibilities of the military commissariat entail preparation and mobilization, management of human and economic resources, training of young individuals for military service, organization of conscription and training sessions, and facilitation of voluntary enlistment for military service. The president commented whether regional military commissars, city or district officials, or employees of military medical commissions, the cynicism is consistent, even if the forms of corruption differ, be they in cash or cryptocurrency. On national TV, Venoslavsky elaborated that lists of qualified military personnel ready to assume the roles of military commissars have been compiled. The pool of potential personnel for the leadership of military departments will be composed of military personnel who, after sustaining injuries and based on evaluations from the Military Medical Commission, are deemed unfit or only partially fit for continued military service. Zelensky emphasized that military personnel who have first-hand experience on the front lines or those who, due to injuries, are unable to participate in active combat should now head the military commissariats. According to Zelensky, military commissars and officials with unblemished records who wish to retain their positions and affirm their integrity must serve on the front lines. This post received a score of 8,900, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Honestly, treat them like you would an ordinary treasoner. I agree that they all should be prosecuted but one has to say that short term this is really efficient. Assholes can't do any more harm and prosecution can work on cases with no rush. I know it's probably common knowledge that Zelensky played the president on a Ukrainian TV show, but I'm sure most people haven't seen it. It's a good show, and one of the central themes is fighting corruption. He does stuff like this in the show a couple of times that I remember. Never liked his TV productions. But in real life he has a lot of corruption fighting to do. Yeah, Zelensky definitely doesn't have clean hands either. That said he's someone who's in the middle of things and not hiding at all which is more than you can say for most politicians. I need ammunition, not a ride, Zelensky. I heard that the country of Georgia did something similar once. The police were so corrupt and no one could do anything. So the prime minister just fired the entire police force. Of course everyone thought that it would cause chaos, but it turns out that the police were such a part of the problem that it worked out. They slowly rehired officers who were not suspected to be involved in the corruption, and rebuilt the thing fresh. Someone correct me if I have this wrong. You're not wrong. And it was successful, with approximately 40% improvement in public opinion. Here's a much longer recent study on the effects. I wonder if this 40% statistic about cops has anything to do with that other 40% statistic about cops. Beats me. Corruption is the efficiency killer. It erodes progress, as well-connected failure displaces success, and is a constant disease upon any organization, military to civilian. I wish the people of Ukraine good luck in this fight as well. It is the little death that brings total obliteration. Good to see that Arakis has a place in the hearts of the people. I have two Ukrainian friends who paid to get out, cost them 5k euro each. Corruption wasn't unusual at all in all parts of their government. People would pay extra to bribe officials all the time to make progress on stuff, healthcare, planning permission etc. It was so common there that you could bribe the people who approved medical leave and government supports. I am glad they got out, but they know they can never go back as it will be known that they paid to get out. It's a tough situation. Imagine if you had a family. No matter how heroically you went out, your death is still going to haunt and affect your family forever. So it's not an easy choice live for your family or possibly die for your country. On the other hand, if everyone fled, well then there would be no Ukraine anymore. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.